Good morning, Morris Knowles, and welcome back to our Block 8 show. Today we got some new and exciting stories to share. That's right, Caitlin. We've got insight on one of our school's newest faculty members, safety with a fan favorite sport, MK's very own GT Showcase, and the local 4-H Rocket Club's big achievement. Let's get it started. Our nest has a new eagle in it, our new APA theater teacher. She came here with a lot of experience on the stage and is very excited to share the knowledge with the theater academic the students. Here's Bella Cuidar with a profile on Miss Dunn. Here at Morris Knowles, students can be exposed to a comprehensive academic theater program where all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Unlike many high schools within the area, our school's program mixes required courses with career and technical education, allowing students to get the best of both worlds. I think the Academy for Performing Arts is a very unique program that um, a typical high school student may not have the opportunity to participate in. I think um, the arts is a fantastic way for students to engage, explore, and express themselves um, in a really safe, constructive, and uh, friendly environment. Opportunities are around every corner, including an internship that spans over 120 hours dedicated to working with mentors in the industry, applying what is learned in class to the real world. Similarly, dual enrollment is offered, allowing students to participate in college courses, pursuing 24 college credits paid by Morris Tech at schools like Ramapo College and Centenary University. The program itself does a wonderful job exploring the craft of theater, ranging from voice and movement to improv to the esteemed spring musicals like last year's Mamma Mia. Though quite young, the program has reached great heights, all of which have served as a warm welcome to new teacher Miss Dunn. From receiving the Rising Star Award at the Paper Mill Playhouse her senior year of high school to landing the role of Fiona in the Shrek International Tour, Ms. Dunn has accomplished a lot and continues to implement aspects of her theater life into her classes. So because it's a CTE program, Career and Technical Education, um, I really try to remind the students that yes, theater is fun and you enjoy doing it but it's also serious business. It's, it is a business, it's a billion dollar industry and um, they really need to market themselves accordingly and be their own entrepreneurs. Um, one of the biggest things that I say to them is talent doesn't work unless you do. And I just try to uh, hone that in for them. Students are directed towards excellence and develop tools such as self-sufficiency and discipline. Honestly, I feel like we're going to be the talk of the state. Maybe the talk of the country. I would love it to get to that level um, because I think once the program becomes more and more structured accordingly, you're going to see the growth in the students throughout the year and they're really gonna have those opportunities to show it with different performance opportunities. And also I just think getting our name out there in New Jersey and making sure that the students are representing us very well in competitions. There's thespian competitions and festivals and the Paper Mill Playhouse Rising Star Awards and just a lot of different outlets for them where they people will clearly be able to see the talent, the professionalism, and just our capabilities at Morris Knowles. Overall, the theater program here at Morris Knowles has a bright future and are in good hands with Miss Dunn. This has been Bella Quidor reporting for News from the Nest. Thanks, Bella. Let's all give Miss Dunn a warm welcome. Speaking of warm, I miss when the weather was warmer and we could do more things outside. But for now, we can stay inside and watch football. I can't believe the yeah, Super Bowl is so soon. But as much fun as it is to watch and play, there's actually a lot of dangers to football. Due to football's high contact nature, it creates a probability for painful concussions. Here with more information is reporter Daniel Glorioso. The NFL is once again under fire over concussions. Big hits are definitely bad and concussions are not something to be taken lightly. People with multiple concussions have found that these injuries can be life changing. Most severe concussions like the kind that causes a player to stumble or lose consciousness altogether takes much longer to recover from than previously thought. According to doctors and professionals, the research shows that even a single concussion is associated with an increased risk of brain disorders like Parkinson's disease and dementia. 
If concussions are inevitable in football, it only makes sense that the NFL do everything possible to ensure that current players have the protection against hard hits and injured players get good care. Even in the college and high school ranks, 42% of trainers had to fight with coaches over concussions, and 52% said they had felt pressure from football coaches to return. As Dr. Michael Stewart, co-director of sport medicine at Mayo Clinic, should there's not going to be one magic rule change, one magic helmet design, one magic dietary supplement that's going to make concussions go away. This will require continued research and policy changes for the sport and the players. The NFL has agreed to implement update concussion protocol and policy as well as enhanced equipment. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell confirms recent that changes to the league concussion protocol were imminent following head and neck injuries that sent recent players to the hospital. These changes are a good step in the right direction and should reduce incidents of concussions. Everyone wants to see football remain a safe and enjoyable sport. This is Daniel reporting for News from the Nest. Thanks Daniel, I never knew any of that. I'll keep that in mind and hope that the players stay safe when we're watching Knowles dominate in football. Next year's going to be great. Great things to watch. Knowles had just witnessed the first all-in-person GT showcase since the pandemic. It was a truly wonderful show with many talented perform performers showing off their unique abilities. Here with all the notes are Brianna Colley and Tanika Sar. The GT Showcase is a performing arts showcase that allows any student to perform in front of their peers. The showcase was Thursday, January 12th. The purpose of the showcase is to educate and entertain the other students. It gives many other students an opportunity to perform. Miss Evans and a few other faculty members chose the acts based on variety. They wanted to highlight as many different acts as they can. Really scared being all Students can get involved in the GT showcase through one of two ways. One, if you have a talent, you would sign up on my door and then attend auditions. The second way is if you are more of a behind the scenes type of person, you can join stage, light, and sound crew. Some talents include singing, dancing, playing instruments, color guard, and many others. The case has been running for many years and the usual response is positive. This year was the first time since 2019 they've had a full audience to watch the showcase. I have been running the GT showcase for the past six years in the position as the GT program coordinator, but the GT showcase has been running for as long as I can remember. So when I was in high school, it was in 2004, so I guess the last 18 years. We pick yourselves up and get back in the rain. Great job to everyone who had the courage to go and perform on stage. This has been Brianna and Sydney reporting for News from the Nest. Thanks, Sydney and Brianna. The showcase was so much fun. I can't wait to watch it again next year. Knowles has so many talented students, I know some of them will be famous one day. You know who else has talent? the local 4-H Rocket Club. Their rockets have reached new heights and gained the attention of NASA. I mean, who wouldn't want to rock to outer space? Here's Luca Doroshuk with the sky-high insight on their achievement. When I was a kid, I used to love watching rockets launch and seeing them fly into space. And here in Morris County, the Resisto Jets have done just that. They launched a rocket into the air whilst carrying a payload, and with approval from NASA, they will move on to the next step. This project offers multiple contests reaching a broad audience of middle and high schools, colleges, and universities across the nation. For their final challenge, they will design an 8-foot tall rocket that can carry a specified payload 5,000 feet in the air. This will then be tested at NASA's Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. The Resisto Jets are a team of middle and high schoolers from Morris County that are intrigued in taking their rocketry club to the next level, and NASA's Student Launch Initiative did just that. As well as qualifying, they will need to create a social media presence of at least 250 students in their region, and their payload needs to be created and approved by their peers. After the approval, they will present their ideas to their peers and NASA Council. They have around nine months for the whole process and have access to communicate with outside programs and resources. As NASA describes it, the Student Launch Initiative is a research-based, competitive, experimental exploration activity. The goal of the program is to explore cost-effective and efficient rocketry. This project offers multiple contests reaching a broad audience of middle and high schools, colleges, and universities across the nation. Having the ability to experiment with rockets in school is a great opportunity. I never thought that I myself would be able to do the same. 
but it seems like I might in the near future. This has been Luca Doroshuk reporting for News from the Nest. Thanks, Luca. That sounds absolutely incredible. Science is so cool. I hope these bright minds keep shooting for the stars, and I can't wait to see what they do next. Well, MK, we want to thank you for joining our show today, and I hope that you enjoyed the packages. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube page by following the link at the bottom of the Morris Knowles webpage. Click the News from the Nest logo and then the bell to be informed of new uploads. This, this has been, been the best from the Nest. nest.